The Enlightenment, also known as the Age of Reason, is the name given to an important period in the history of Western civilization that followed the Renaissance. The Enlightenment occurred roughly from the mid-1600s up through the end of the 1700s and was a time when the human ability to reason was glorified. The word Enlightenment means a time of illumination. The era was given this name because it was a time when an influential group of scholars, writers, artists, and scientists actively sought to use the clear light of reason, that is, rational thought, to rid the world of superstition and ignorance. As a result of their efforts, tremendous improvements in the understanding of mathematics and science occurred, and bold new ideas regarding basic human rights and democracy were developed that served as major inspirations to revolutionaries in both America and France. Across the English Channel here in France, the brilliant French mathematician René Descartes published a book that proclaimed that reason and mathematics were all that one really needed to discover truth in the sciences. Descartes likened the universe to a perfect clock that had been designed and built by a master clockmaker, that is, by an all-powerful god, a god who had set the universe into motion and then left it alone. Descartes was a pioneer in mathematically formulating the basic laws that govern the movement of things, from the rolling of ocean waves to the spinning of windmills, 
and he invented a new type of mathematics called analytic geometry. The ideas promoted by Descartes and Bacon proved to be extremely important because they led to the development of what is called the scientific method, a series of simple rational steps that can be followed to help solve even the most complicated scientific problems. developed by Francis Bacon and René Descartes took hold during the Enlightenment, an incredible growth in the understanding of mathematics, physics, chemistry, and biology occurred, thus greatly accelerating the scientific revolution that began late in the Renaissance. The great English Enlightenment era mathematician and physicist Isaac Newton owes much to the ideas of Descartes and Bacon but he stands out among others of his time for the sheer brilliance of his work. Newton was born in this house in England in 1642. The English Civil War began. This was a bloody conflict between Parliament and the Royalists that led to the execution of the King and the abolition of the monarchy. And so, for ten years of Newton's youth, England was called a Commonwealth instead of a Kingdom and was ruled by a lord protector instead of a king. The English monarchy was restored in 1660, one year before Isaac Newton entered Cambridge University to study here at Trinity College, the same college Francis Bacon had attended in the late 1500s. After completing his course of study, a serious outbreak of the deadly bubonic plague forced Newton to escape to the safety of his isolated rural home. And this was where Isaac Newton experienced a burst of scientific insight unmatched in history. During a brief 18-month period, he worked out the basics of a new branch of mathematics called calculus. Newton made crucial discoveries in optics, the science of light. 
he was able to understand and mathematically formulate the laws of gravity while watching an apple fall from a tree here in his garden. At the same time, he formulated the laws of motion. With these new scientific laws in hand, Newton was able to precisely calculate the weights of the sun and planets and to predict the paths of comets. In the year 1686, Isaac Newton published what many consider to be the greatest scientific book ever written, the Philosophiae Naturalis Principia Mathematica, the mathematical principles of natural philosophy. His book radically changed people's understanding of the universe and profoundly affected scientific thinking for the next two centuries.